Hello, hello everybody. What's up? Dennis Allen, City Boy Home Center here. I'm replacing my door handle on this 2013 Honda Odyssey. And I'm just going to show everybody because this is a pain in the butt, but it'll save you a lot of money if you just buy it online yourself. This one is lifted two inches and it's got a tent camper put on backwards, but it's the same. If yours is not lifted or if it doesn't have that, if you don't have a tattoo of a Honda Odyssey minivan, it's okay. This will work for you too. So let's take that off. First thing to do, open up the hood. If you don't know how to open up the hood, you shouldn't be doing this video. Pull these things out. Again, if you don't know how to do that, you shouldn't be doing this. Pull that out. If you can't do that, you're probably in bed. Unscrew this. 10 millimeter. Bloop. Comes out like that. Probably yours is probably tighter than that. I'm going to show you on this side. I already took that side off. I started taking it off and I'm like, man, I got to show people because this is a pain. And if you don't know how to do it so you need something like this uh for <clears throat> the door handle i'll show you this is a little easier so there's the door handle that is on that side um there's a pin in the back here it's a little c-clip that goes like that so you just got to push it down like that sometimes these old school i mean this fit perfectly this is from a chevy taking window frames off of my Chevy so that still works part number a159 from snap-on this clip sponsored by snap-on so what I had to do long screwdriver you gotta take this panel off I said disconnect the battery because there's airbags in these doors I believe but what you want to do is get it behind there there's the uh, the door panel right there so just pop pry those off all the way around the bottom and then close the door and you'll have oh who put the horse took the handle off oh wrong side it'll just you just pop it off from there too very easy um oh another thing you gotta do is pop this off bonk, 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 2013 and then this goes in there so once this is all off you're pulling it out you just lift it and pop it up because the top goes in there. Doop, boop, and it's off. I'll show you what it looks like real quick. We're going to try to make this fast. But that's the door panel. See what I'm saying? That's it. So see how it clips in there? And then there's clips there, 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 there. And when you pry, pry in there and look for the clips. Those you couldn't see. That one was a tough one. You just want to pull in here too, make sure everything's loose. And then when you pull it out, there's one wire harness connection right there. Boop. That you unplug. All right. Now, what do we got to do? And I'm just swinging this, so this could be wrong. Um, I'm going to take all these off. These are 10 millimeters just from knowing. Is it flashing? Yes, it is. 10 millimeters. So I'm going to take those off right now and then unplug it there too. I'll show you how the plugs work. You push that in. You push it out. Sometimes there's plastic things that go through there, so just take your time with the plugs. They're broken very often. There's a ground there, so when you take that off, make sure that ground goes back on. Note that that's the plug, the big one. Nice and simple. Beep, beep, beep. Please hold. Little update the ground did not have to come off, that was not connected. Uh, yeah, and then there's a little clip. Let's see how it just pops up. Shizzle tang. So what I want to try to get into is back there. I have to do that. Yeah. Is that one? I don't know how to take that off, but just bend that out of the way. Another 10 there, and then there's one in there, I'm sure. I think you get it right through here. Somehow, I'll fade this out. Yeah, it's rubber and glue, but there should be a hole in there. Yep. So I just got to poke in there. This is like a glue, so I just got to... It's good to, re it's easy to reseal it. Another update, don't take that one off. But you saw how I took it off, you just pull it out. Take this one off. And then there's a 10 in there. See the 10? Booyakasha! If you want to see how it works, I got my old snap-on. Snap-on. I found my uh, Eddie Santos from Santos Service Center where I used to work when I was younger. They found my lost, uh, oh, it's right here. Oh, I hope 
Oh, ooh, there's crab meat there. Anyway, it's not there. Oh, it's over here. Oh well, I should play in this. Oh, there it is. See? It says only the master on top of it. But anyway, uh, I lost it while I was working there. Uh, maybe when I was early 20s. And I went on to another job, uh, which they helped me get. And it just appeared recently because they're shutting down the shop i guess they're cleaning stuff out and oh mother of mary holy cows all right i gotta put this down that screw almost fell in that hole okay so what i did i put this in there anyway i put this on there and i used that carefully to make sure that that didn't happen to pull it out all right that's that that's my assistant uh I can't open the door now. All right, so now this is gonna probably come off. I don't know how. I got, oh, there's gonna. Oh, there's a rod in the back. Let's see, this is the handle. So I just took that nut off. Oh, I hope I can open the door. Took that nut off, and now I gotta disconnect this. It's got a a rod, a metal rod that goes down into that, and there's a plastic clip that clips over it. I'm assuming. No, baby, don't drink that water. Hey, I was going to film, baby. Go drink the creek water, man. That's nasty, like, dirty tire and ugh, shop water. Go. Okay, so that's the clip right there. This thing was like that. I had to just push it with the long screwdriver, and now I just got to pull it out. Which is going to take some maneuvering. But you can figure it out. Just comes out that way my finger's still crooked so what I did um, I kind of wiggled it out to the outside here see it in there and now oh, I think you um, yeah I guess I just I just had to pry it out so all you got to do is pry it out that was pretty easy um, I just didn't know but now you know. See, aren't you glad you watched this video? And gave me a thumbs up and shared it with anybody else with a door that's broken. So that was my problem. The plastic comes out with it. I was thinking the plastic was going to stay in there. Like the old school kind. But the plastic's part of that. Alright, that makes sense. And cut. So anyway, I'm just going to do the opposite. This goes in there like that. This goes in there. It all reverses, I'll show you in a second. Okay, I got that one back in there. And now this one, um, make sure you put this clip that came with the old door handle on there. Same 10 M&Ms. Just a, a little something. If you drop this, you could probably magnet, get it down there. It'll drop down there somewhere. It's not that big of a deal if I dropped. I mean, it might be a big deal, but definitely not fun so be careful so I was looking at the screws and I noticed that one was different all the other ones were like that those are like machine screws so this one is if you look in there there's a plastic bit in there that it needs to thread into where the, all the other ones are screwed into medial metal metal just FYI put that back in so I left it in place, I put that plug in there, that one little thing, and now I just push it down and pop the pins. Remember the one that was in the middle there? Here, pop goes down there. Make sure they, they pop everywhere. Then this goes in, and that went in my mouth. This is the clip that came off. The door handle, uh, you could just put that clip in there and then just it only goes on one way and then just pop it on and it'll be on there and that'll be it. So I cleaned out in there. I'm spraying all the, uh, the things here with like an INT rust and it's kind of a good lubricant. I'm also going to lubricate all the rails. What do I do? Oh, I sprayed in there. 
really good. There's a channel. It's, it's the same. Um, doing the springs. These things. All the door latches and I'm going to grease them too. I don't know. Even this is better than what it was. Definitely want... It's a good lubricant, I guess. Better than nothing. All right, that's pretty much it. It opens up. Uh, can you believe, folks, that you save money by getting the Midnight Edition? You know? This was the only chrome it, she had. Um, I did pay extra for the crappy chrome because this already had the chrome, but that's the only chrome piece that she has. Uh, the hubcaps are not there. I did get a full spare. Make sure you put that back on. Oh, I'm going to put that on, so maybe hopefully I get my stations. Uh, look, I put a got a full spare. I don't know what I'm going to do, where I'm going to put it. This tiny spare goes in there, but that's it. All right, everybody. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. That's CBD, local stuff. All right, have a good one. Dennis Allen out. All right, there she is, everybody. New handle. I put this on. This was super simple. You just take out clips, slide this thing on, put clips in there. I take the logos off. I also got, this may be a little weird, uh, these things. Honestly, when I'm driving in the rain, it does fog up, and I de did see these that go into there to stop the rain. Um, so, it's just a piece of rubber, just extends there. I wish it wasn't like fake carbon fiber, but whatever. It'll probably give me another three horsepower. Eddie Santos, what do you think about that? I know. Anyway, lubed up everything. There's Vivian Eddie. And uh, hey, if anybody wants to go camping, DennisAllen.com forward slash camping. That's the thing right there. Oh, jeez. All right. That's it, everybody. Bye-bye. There's 20 seconds for you. I'm doing a good job not talking. There's my van. Yeah, look at my van. Got a hitch. What else? There's nothing else. Here's some cool stickers. Alright, that's what I'm going to leave it on right there, people. Those are my friends. Make sure you see him too. Oh, there's my phone number. Oh, shoot.